Hey, what's going on, Facebook? So what's up? Doing a live here. So I want to talk to you guys about the uh, about a recent report that I just saw on uh, on social media. So there's been a lot of things that have been happening in the social media world in the marketing world that has dramatically changed the landscape for marketers and for business owners. And most of you guys have probably felt it if you are either uh, generating your own leads or you're working with a company that is generating leads for you and uh, you felt the, the increase in the cost of advertising. And listen, I've been doing this since 2013 uh, and I've been telling people from day one that you need to start marketing heavily now. This is a gravy train. This will not last forever. You will not be able to get leads the way that you are today a year or two from now. And I've been saying that from day one. And I've been telling people, spend as much money as you possibly can before it's too late. And uh, a lot of people didn't listen. Um, there's people, as, you know, like a year ago, even today, who are still saying that I know social media is the future. Like social media is is now. Like it it was the future a long time ago. And if you aren't advertising on on social media now, if you're not an expert right now on social media lead generation, you're too late to the game. Uh, you you're gonna fail. And I'm gonna show you guys why you're not able to uh, generate leads that are effective anymore, why a lot of people think that Facebook marketing doesn't work or why they say that leads from Facebook are no good. And the truth is, is that it's not that the leads are no good. The truth is, is that 90% of people, maybe even 99% of marketers have no fucking idea what they're doing. Um, and we're gonna see a huge washout of the industry of all these supposed gurus and, and social media experts who in the glory days of 2011, 12, 13, 14, even 15, could slap up an ad and generate leads for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and it didn't matter. It could be a half-ass ad, the ad copy could suck, the targeting could be off, and they were still generating leads, right? And so that's why people were able to start these digital marketing firms or they could go out in moonlight and start running ads for people and say, oh, I'm a social media expert, I can generate leads, you know, hire me, pay me a few hundred bucks a month and I'll, uh, I'll set up your ad campaigns and whatever the case might be. Well, that doesn't work anymore. Um, those folks are failing miserably. Unfortunately, the people who invest in those kind of idiots are, uh, they're being screwed. You're not getting results. You're spending hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars on people who are telling you that they're gonna get you leads and they don't deliver. Uh, I've talked to several people in the last 14 days who have told me that they've paid hundreds, even thousands of dollars, and some people just outright ghosted them. I got a message from a lady the other day who told me that she gave 400 and something dollars to a guy that was supposed to generate some leads for her, and he just vanished. He didn't do anything. Um, I'm working with a real estate agent right now who paid $400 a month to a company who never set up a single ad. They said that, oh yeah, we were running ads, you, you know, you should have gotten leads, and they, they didn't do anything. Um, and then I've talked to people who, who come on board and say that, you know, the leads that they've gotten were, were shitty, um, you know, they weren't getting the volume that they said that they wanted to, uh, and a lot of people who have taken programs from me in the past have come back and said it's not working anymore. And I'm gonna show you why. The truth is, is that it, it still works, right? It's just, there's no margin for error. The cost is so much higher than it was even just a year ago. Uh, in the last two years, the cost of Facebook traffic has gone up by 300%. It went up 176 from 17 to 18, and it went up another 119% uh, in the last 12 months. So the cost of traffic is just ridiculous right now. Uh, the average cost per thousand impressions is somewhere around $30, $35. Like three years ago, you're talking $10, $15 cost per thousand, right? So, you know, you, like I said, you could set up any kind of ad, didn't matter what your landing page looked like, your targeting could be off, uh, and you would still get leads because the number of people that you could reach for a relatively small amount of money, um, you would, by law of large numbers, you'd still be able to generate some leads. And now most people don't have the budgets to make those kinds of mistakes, right? So your, your targeting has to be on point, your ad copy has to be perfect, your landing page has to be flawless, your, your, I mean, the whole, from A to Z has to be well thought out, the creative has to be planned, 
And uh, if you're not an expert at it, you're, you're going to fail miserably. So I pulled up a report, and I'm going to share a link to the report, but I'm just going to show you guys here. This is a cost, right? I'm going to read off this report here. This is a, an average cost for uh, per industry, and it breaks it down by industry. Average cost to advertise on Facebook by industry. And I'm just going to use the real estate industry, for example, because I know a lot of you are real estate agents or no real estate agents. And uh, we've had an influx of real estate agents who have come to us and needing help. And a lot of our insurance clients uh, run campaigns for realtors. So the average cost per click for real in the real estate industry on Facebook, the average cost per click is $1.81. All right, $1.81 per click. So every time somebody clicks the ad, $1.81. Right? That, that number three years ago was like eight cents. <laughs> It's crazy, okay? Here's what's worse though, and here's where it gets bad because we've got, again, so many people out there claiming to be marketing experts or whatever the case might be. The average, the average conversion rate, the average click-through rate uh, is, and the click-through rate is essentially the number of people from those clicks that actually click through to the landing page or to the website, right? So you set up a Facebook ad and you send them to your website or to a landing page or to a Facebook lead form to get that person's information, right? So the average click-through rate is 0 .009, all right, 0.009% of the clicks click through to the website. That number is atrocious. Our, the, the, the standards in our agency and, and our, our ad managers and those that come through our coaching program, the standard that we, that we set for our clients is that you should be at a 3% click through, which is really, really high. And, and, and I tell people this when they go through my program and say, look, listen, don't, whatever you've heard about conversion rates, just throw it away because what I'm going to tell you, uh, people are going to think you're crazy because nobody gets these conversion rates. But our process is that good and that refined that that's what we do. I'm going to show you here. We've got, I'm going to show you, this, this is one of the ads that I'm going to compare to. So 0 0.009. So what that means is that you have to have approximately 100 clicks at $1.81 to get one person to your website. This is the average performance, right? The average person out there running ads and granted, this takes into account the guy who says, I'm just going to boost this post myself, and they don't have a fucking clue what they're doing, all the way up to big marketing agencies. It's all in there, right? But on average, 100 clicks to get one person to a landing page, right? And then from there, the next conversion rate is 0 0.1068. That means it takes 10 website visits to get one lead conversion. So let's do the math. 100 clicks at $1.81, it's $181, right? Um, and then you got another 10, excuse me, it's 10, 10 clicks to get one landing page visit and then 10 landing page visits to get one lead. So ultimately, you're talking somewhere around $100 per lead, give or take, in the, in the real estate industry. $100 at that cost per click, you got to get 10 clicks to get one landing page uh, visit. And then from there, you got to get 10 landing page visits to get one lead. Sorry. So um, our click through rate here, we're at 3.74 here. 3.74 click through rate. Our cost per click is 0.57, 57 cents. So that's 2,000% better than the average of point. This number is 0 0.009 on average. Ours is 3.74. Here you've got 57 cents per click as opposed to $1.81, so less than half. And then you can see we've got 59 leads out of this campaign. We got 437 total clicks. So I'm gonna show you guys something. 437 clicks on average, right? If we're going by the average cost, that would cost 437 clicks times $1.81 that would cost the average person $790, okay? We're gonna use their conversion rates. So we got 437 people that click the website and we know that 10 of those, we're going to get to the landing page. For every 10 of those, we get one to the landing page. So that means we're gonna get 43 people to the landing page, right? So at 43 people to the landing page, then out of that, we know one in 10, so we're gonna get four leads out of that. So $790 divided by four, 
$197 a lead, give or take. So five leads, maybe even if you're at five, 790 divided by five, you're still at 158. These, these are average numbers. Now, when you look at our numbers, we had 437 clicks of which 56%, 246% of the people that clicked on the ad went to our landing page. All right, so 56% of those people uh, went to the landing page. And of those 246 people, 59 leads were filled out from that landing page, 59 leads. 59 leads filled, filled out out of 246. So that means 23% of the traffic as opposed to 0.10% of the traffic as opposed to 10%, so more than two times, 200% better conversion rate than the industry average, all right? And so when we look at our cost per lead on this campaign, we just flip gears here. Our cost per lead on this deal is, where is it at? Uh, where's my cost per lead? Cost per lead, $4.22, $4.22 per lead. That's what that's what we're running on on a real estate campaign, and these are our numbers. That and that that's the formula that we work by. So the formula that we work by is for every thousand impressions, based on our conversion rates, we we expect two leads. All right. So when you look at your cost per thousand, we talked about the cost per thousand. The cost per thousand is the driving force because that's just what it costs people to see the ad. It doesn't matter whether they click or not. Facebook says thirty bucks, forty bucks per thousand, right? So if we're meeting our standards, we're still looking at a you know, $20 cost per lead on something like that. However, what we do is we go through a process, we fine tune the ad, it, it, it takes years to, to perfect this, but we get what even should be a $20 lead down to $4, right? That's the only way you're gonna be able to afford this thing on Facebook. If you guys can't do that, if you can't get, if you can't outperform the industry average by hundreds or even thousands of percent better, you can't afford it. You'll go fucking broke trying to do this stuff yourself, guys. You can't, it, it's, not, it's not possible. So just look at the numbers, look at the data at $1.81 per click. Just ask yourself, how many clicks can you convert confidently on a Facebook ad? All right, like if you can, you know, they're telling you 10, on average, so let's say you, you even beat that by half. Let's say you're you're twice as good and you can get five clicks to go to your website, right? So, and then out of that, you're gonna convert 10%. So you're still at 50 bucks a lead. I, you better have damn good conversions if you're gonna make that work, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys because the number is, the, the numbers are astounding and I think so many people are ignoring the raw data that's available to you. It has changed so much since fourth quarter of last year. I mean, it's changed to the point that that me and my team, we're spending hours looking at data. Like like I said, the days of, of being able to slap up an ad, no more. Like we're going in, we're shaving out age, age groups, we're shaving out uh, gender, we're targeting in, in our, our industries, we're looking at zip codes, where are we getting performance? I mean, every click counts. Every conversion point counts. Every impression counts. If you're showing your ad to the wrong person, then you're costing yourself a fortune. If you're spending $40 on average per thousand impressions, if 500 of those people are not your target market, you've just wasted 20 bucks. Much less if they click and you have to pay for the click and you have to pay for the, the, the video view, I mean, it, it gets really costly really quick. And, and the whole point of what I'm trying to say here is, is not that I'm better than everybody else, although I'm pretty good. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that Facebook marketing is not what it was three years ago. It's very similar to the real estate industry. Those of you who have been around for a while, uh, in 2005, 2006, anybody could be a realtor. You go take your little test, you get your little cell phone, we put you a sign in the yard, bingo, you're a real estate agent. And you're selling houses. And it took no skill whatsoever. Then 2008 happened, and all of a sudden, half the industry had no idea how to be a real estate agent, and they went away. We're starting to feel that now in the real estate industry, but I think right now we're in the 2008 of the digital marketing world. Like, three years ago, four years ago, anybody could be a marketer. Anybody could have a marketing agency. Anybody could get leads whatever. 
Uh, I think right now over the next 12 months, you're going to see people go away. Be very, very, very careful where you put your money. I'm, I'm hearing it almost daily. People are paying advertising companies. They're paying, you know, experts or whatever. They're paying money and the people are vanishing. They're not delivering services. The reason they're not delivering services is because they can't. So you need to look and ask about the data. And that's the problem is that most of you don't even know the right questions to ask before you hire somebody. You don't even, you can't even put the numbers together. But when you start putting the pieces of the puzzle together, all of a sudden it starts making a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 10 questions to ask a marketer, 10 questions that you need to ask any marketer before you give them money. If you want those questions, drop your email in the comments here and I will shoot you an email with the 10 questions that you need to ask any marketer before you give them money. You've got people who are saying, oh, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, I'll give you a free trial. Uh, I'll, I'll you know, run ads for, you know, almost nothing. Uh, and that's not sustainable, all right? They're gonna go out of business, they're gonna run away with your cash and there's nothing you're gonna do about it. So I'm gonna give you 10 questions to ask a marketer. I'm gonna have you speak intelligently to a marketing firm. I'm gonna have them validate for you their results because if they don't have the validation to, and the answers to these 10 questions, run for the hills. Do not give them your money, all right? Um, and I would really, really seriously caution you about running ads yourself, all right? really really caution you I'm not saying that it can't be done but what I'm saying is it takes an enormous amount of time today uh, versus what it did a few years ago and you have to just really think about whether or not you can afford to invest that time and if you are gonna run your ads make sure that you're learning from an expert so that they're teaching you the right shit right like the the problem uh, like I'll use the insurance industry for example there's a big problem in the insurance industry right now. And the problem is, is that in the glory days, thousands of people went through my training and dozens of those people started their own coaching programs. They started their own little advertising firms. And I'm hearing over and over and over again, these guys took my money, these guys didn't perform, this happened, whatever the case might be. And the problem is those guys are using old information they're not up to date with what's going on. They're not seeing the changes. They're not understanding the performance metrics that have to be met. They're not taking the time to put, to, to put together a well thought out campaign because half of them have another fucking job somewhere else. Like the, the days of, oh, I, I run an agency or I run an, uh, I'm a mortgage lender uh, by day, but I'm also an ad expert by night or I run an insurance agency and I also manage ads that's that's no good like that can't happen they, there's no way they have the time to run a business and pay attention to your marketing campaigns they, they can't do it all right so anyway hopefully this was insightful hopefully it got you thinking about some things i want to save you guys some headache and some some hassle let me tell you facebook is still i put my uh, i believe wholeheartedly that facebook is the number one place is the best place for you to get leads i don't care what anybody says it is the best place to get leads to help you grow your business. You just gotta be careful with who you trust to do it for you because it's not their fault, I'm not blaming them. Uh, I'm just saying things change rapidly and a lot of people are not up to speed. They don't mean to screw you, but it's gonna happen.